Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and this video is to show you uh, the analysis and the look at data of mobile, desktop, and tablet. Um, so as we have, as we showed in a, one of the prior videos, uh, under the Audience tab, we have a tab called Mobile. Okay, um, and so this tab itself basically gives you a, a quick overview of the difference of your sessions, your visitor numbers, your new visitors bounce rate. Uh, and your goal completion percentage and, and in numbers between desktop, mobile, and tablet. Um, so based on this summary, you can see within your date range a specific conversion. So for example, um, let's look at here for mobile. This is about 14% uh, of the site's visitors overall, and there's about 8% of the conversions in this specific case of goal that we set up. Uh, so what that means is for whatever reason, uh, the mobile is not converting as best. So obviously we need to look in things such as responsive design, um, the font the, the font text size, the uh, usability on mobile, things like that. So this gives us our first look into the average on, to on the total site within our date range of what's going on. So based on this, we can come up to our first conclusions and figure out if the tablet is working good, if it may be mobile people can't purchase at all, maybe some kind of script or some HTML is uh, interfering. So that's our first way. Um, and so people talk about this and, and you see the summary. Uh, what I wanted to go in addition to this is to show you how you can filter specific elements to view the mobile desktop and tablet because sometimes it's very uh, dangerous to uh, look at site wide averages i mean this is you know within our specific time everything so it gives us some ideas but it may not give us all ideas so i'll give you an example here okay so what i'm doing here right now is i am going to an example of landing pages for example okay let's actually go to all pages uh, so what I can do is I can look at a specific page or a specific uh, uh, traffic source or things like that. But in this case, I'm just going to look at the simple page. So I want to see, for example, the percentage of mobile, desktop, and tablet based on their usage on, let's say, the photo gallery page. Okay, let's click on the photo gallery. Now we're only viewing the photo gallery page. And now I'm going to use this secondary dimension, which you can use in almost all other um, left-hand side, you know, navigation and that left-hand side a, a points. I'm going to use this and I'm going to type in device. Okay, and I'm going to hit the device category right here. So now, based on this, the view of just this photo gallery page, I can see the data, the bounce rates, uh, the different numbers. So now you can start to, if you start to think about this idea, you can start to see how we can analyze specific pages, maybe popular pages or specific traffic sources or um, other elements, you know, maybe using the site search or things like that based on the desktop, tablet, and mobile. And now you can look at uh, all these other metrics that will help you understand and come up, come up with some ideas on how to improve your website. So for example, um, this specific website does not have a responsive version. And so you see that the bounce rate on desktop is very, very different from the bounce rate on, ta on uh, sorry, on mobile um, or in tablet even more. So what we need to figure out is why is that, how can we improve the user experience and how can we reduce it? And so after we make some changes, if we decide to do so, let's monitor the before and after to figure out if the users are more happy with that, right? Um, so this is a really good thing. You can do it on almost all other pages, right? If I want to do instead of the content, I want to do it on my traffic sources. Let's say I want to look only at Google organic and not the whole site, right? I can go here, do the same thing, only Google organic, and then I can do device right here. And I can look here. And so Google organic may be different from site average, may be different from Yahoo organic, from Facebook traffic, uh, from referral, from email marketing, things like that. So try to look at all the different elements and use these filters. Use this secondary dimension. Uh, thank you for this. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer if I can. If not, I will try to research more.
and uh, thank you for listening to this video.